what you can do. Be who you were meant to be. Peaceful warriors will miss. You better move, better be better. Peaceful warriors. All right, good morning, everybody. My name is Scott Roberts, and my wife and I own Peaceful Warriors Wellness Center here in downtown St. Pete, where we like to uh, say that we help people feel better, move better, and be better at everything you do. And we do that through therapeutic massage and body work, corrective exercise, stretching, and reflexology, many other modalities. Please visit our website at www.peacefulwarriorswellness.com. Give us a call, 727-822-8866. Um, welcome. It is Wednesday, the 2nd of December. Only a couple, we are about three weeks before uh, we have to be ready for Christmas. So hopefully everybody uh, had a great weekend. Make sure you come and visit us at the Saturday morning market at Outlank Stadium this weekend. We'll be there this weekend and the weekend before Christmas on the 19th. So uh, that's pretty exciting. Please grab yourself a strap, a rope, a belt, something of that nature that you can grab a hold of. Reach up overhead. Come up on your toes. Really actively reaching up to the sky. Open up the body. And relax. Thanks for joining me this morning. Let's go ahead and go into a left hand side bend. Bend over to the left. Remember to breathe, it's important. You want to exhale as you stretch. Good, one more on that side. And over to the right. Please be sure to leave any comments, questions in the comment section. Please like and share so that other people can gain from this as well. Bring your hands and arms down into shoulder height. Let's rotate the spine, turn your arms and head and chest to the left. Slowly come all the way around to the right. Some of you may hear a little bit of popping and cracking in your body as you get it moving and open up. Wonderful. All right, let's go ahead and grab one end of the strap in your right hand up over your head. Bring the strap behind you. You're going to reach down in between your shoulder blades with your right hand. Use the strap to help assist at the end. Now we're going to bring the right hand to your belt line or your waistline. You're going to reach up between your shoulder blades with your right hand. Strap over your left shoulder, assist at the end. Open up the shoulders. Next, I want you to bring your arm with your elbow at shoulder height, elbow bent at 90 degrees. Hold on to that strap behind your back here. We're going to turn our shoulder so that your forearm and hand are moving, but your elbow stays in the same spot. You're gonna reach back as far as you can. Use the strap to assist. Some of you may only be able to come to here. That's okay, let's keep working on it. The more often, the more consistently you do these stretches, the better your range of motion will be, the less impingements you'll have, the less pain, tingling, numbness that you will occur because you're doing the right things for your body. Reach overhead with your left hand, reach down between your shoulder blades, use the strap to assist. Good. 
Good. Let's bring that left hand down to the waistline. Strap over your right shoulder. Reach up between your shoulder blades or as high as you can with that left hand. Good. Elbow at shoulder height, 90 degrees. Let's reach back as far as we can. Use the strap to assist. Good job. Take that strap around the back of your neck. Find yourself a spot on the wall. We want to place your palm on the wall with your fingers pointing back behind you. Palm flat on, on the wall. Step forward with your left hand, left foot, excuse me, and then turn your chest away from the wall. Come back out of it. Rotate back into it. Open up the chest muscle. Simply just turn around, place your left palm on the, on the wall, step forward with your right foot, and rotate your chest to the right. And come out, ease back into it. Great job. All right, now we're gonna do a little bit of head and neck rotation. Take your left hand, on your right temple, your right hand just behind your left ear. Rotate and turn your head to the left as far as you can. A lot of people have a hard time with head, head rotation. Makes it difficult for you to check your blind spots. Let's go to the right. When you're driving. Can't tell you how often I see people turning their entire body to look over their shoulder. That's because the head and neck is not rotating properly. Reach over your head with your right hand, grab it, a hold of your head just above the left ear and pull your head to the right. Lean, assist at the end. All right, left side, let's go ahead and grab that. You're not cranking your head really hard, you're just using just a little bit of pressure. Perfect. All right, come on down to the floor. We're gonna start doing some stretches with our legs. Take your strap around the ball of your right foot. Keeping that right leg straight. We're gonna lift that leg towards the same side shoulder. You'll notice that I'm doing three repetitions of each of these stretches. There's not a magic number of these to do. It's great if you can do eight to 10 reps of the stretches that you need the most. All right, take the strap. Let's go around the inside of the ankle, underneath your calf. And now we're gonna lift that leg towards the nose. Remember, you're lifting your limbs. The strap is not what you're using to lift them. You're lifting them with the muscles and the hips. The strap is added at the end. Take that strap, go around the outside of the ankle and underneath the calf. Now we're going to lift that leg towards the opposite side shoulder, so left shoulder. Good morning. Good morning. And here's the dory, dory, dory. Right leg to the left shoulder, keeping it straight. Strap is around the outside of the ankle. Straighten out both legs. You're going to lift your right leg just high enough to scissor across the top of the left leg. 
Good morning, girl. How are you? All right, just high enough. Scissor across the top of the left. Now we're gonna lift that leg to 45 degrees and scissor across. You wanna keep your hips flat on the floor. Yeah, how you doing? Hmm? That's a good girl. I know it. <laughs> if you're doing these at home, chances are you have a little dog or kids that are trying to figure out what you're doing. All right, now we're gonna lift that right leg up to 90 degrees <laughs> and scissor across. Remember, keep those hips flat on the floor. Meanwhile, on the video, you guys get a little bit of extra dory in the video and that always makes it better. 90 degrees, scissor across. Great. Take the strap all the way around to the inside of the ankle, underneath the calf again. Now we're going to take that right leg out to the right as far as we can, keeping it straight. The strap will keep your toes pointed up towards the ceiling, which is what you want. Remember to breathe. All right. Bend your knees. Let's go ahead and take that strap off of your toes. You have your right ankle resting on your left knee. Pull that right knee as close to your chest as you can. Reach up with your left hand onto your shin or ankle and pull that right foot as close to your left shoulder as you can. Rotate that hip. One of my favorite stretches. Always feels so good right here deep in the glutes. Now we need to do the same thing on the left side that we just did on the right side. Strap around the ball of the foot, keep that left leg straight. We're going to lift that left leg towards the left shoulder. Ready? Here we go. And around the inside of the ankle. All right, towards the nose. Lift the leg towards the nose. Keeping it straight. Dory. <laughs> she must see another dog. Sorry about the, the barking. Now we're going to go around the outside of the ankle and we're going to go towards the right shoulder with the left leg. Hey. Dory, come. Dory, come here. Come here. Dory, come. Come here. Sorry for the interruption. Dory, come. Come here. Come here. All right. Sorry about that. All right. Right leg towards the left shoulder. Strap is around the outside of the ankle. Come here, Dory. Straighten out both your legs. We're going to lift that left leg just high enough to scissor across the top of the right leg. <sighs> lift and scissor across. <sighs> Good 
Good morning, beautiful. Good morning. How are you? Good, thank you. <coughs> all right. No, not at all. Lift your leg up to 45 degrees and let's scissor across. Keep your hips flat on the floor. 45. Come across. This time we're going to come up to 90 degrees, lift that leg up as high as you can, and scissor across. So I know a lot of times people in their videos strive to have this perfect environment. I kind of like the fact that we're able to show that life is happening all around us all the time, and there will always be things that will come up and potentially interfere but it's important to stay focused and get back on track despite the normal life interruptions. All right, so now we're gonna take that strap around the inside of the ankle, underneath the calf. We're gonna take that left leg out as far as we can and stretch out the left side groins. Bend your knees, let's take that left foot and put it on top of your right knee. You can take the strap and set it aside. We're done with that for now. Pull that left hand knee to your chest, reach up and grab that shin, and pull that left foot towards the right shoulder, rotating the hip. Perfect. All right, come on up to your hands and knees. Let's step forward with the right foot. You want that foot out in front of you a little ways. So what we're going to do is we're going to keep our chest facing forward and straight up and down. You don't want to lean forward or anything. Push your hips forward so your knee comes over the right heel. Hey, good morning, Brittany. How are you? Uh, a little sleepy, but I'm good. Good. How are you feeling after your massage yesterday? Amazing. That's I awesome. I you already. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> That's okay. They'll find out. Yep. <laughs> all right. It's okay. Sorry. It's all right. This, this is a thing called life, and it happens all around us all the time. Yep. Right? Of yeah. It's all good. <laughs> you have a great day. <laughs> All right, right knee down, left foot forward. All right, push your hips forward, keeping that chest forward. Ease into that stretch. These stretches you want to feel across the front of the back leg hip. So right now I'm feeling that across the front of the right hip as I push forward, ease back, push forward. So Ms. Brittany that just walked by owns a spray tan uh, business here in the same building. So especially with it being winter, if you're looking for someone that will uh, give you a great spray tan, you need to come down here um, to MLK between Central and First Avenue South. And her uh, business is just a couple doors closer to Central than our office is. So for those of you looking for a great spray tan experience, she's amazing. All right. So, next we're gonna do a couple of different corrective exercises that help uh, correct different postural issues and help strengthen the areas that may be weakened and creating that imbalance that's causing the pain and discomfort, tingling, numbness uh, that you may be experiencing in your body. All right, so let's go ahead and lay down on your back. The first thing we're gonna do is dying bugs. You just lift your arms towards the ceiling, take your Heels off the floor, knees bent at 90 degrees. Let's go ahead and get those limbs moving a little bit. It looks like and it feels like you're sinking up your left hand and leg and your right hand and leg as you're moving here, and that's on purpose. What we're really doing is creating a cross pattern 
in the body so that if I took my right hand and touched my left knee, that they would be closer together while we're doing this. When you walk or run, you do this naturally, this cross pattern, that when you step forward with your right foot, your left arm comes forward. And what that does is it helps create a counterbalance in the vertebrae of the spine. It helps stabilize it so you can stay upright without rotating too much one way or the other. All right, so this is really good to help strengthen the core. These muscles in your belly that wrap around this space between your ribs and your hips that is wide open and the only bony structures there is your spine. And the strength of those muscles or the lack thereof is what determines how your vertebrae interact and the discs in between the vertebrae and the pressure that is put on the nerves there that cause low back pain, sciatica, tingling, numbness up and down the leg, okay? So it's really important to strengthen these muscles. And this is one of the easiest ways to do it. Now, some people may struggle with that much going on at the same time. That's okay. You can take one leg at a time, do a quick little tap, and just sit here and do reps. Okay, so if you're someone that has really severe lower back pain and it hurts too much to be up in that dying bug position, just do some of these reps. Whatever you do on the right leg, do on the left leg. Just bring that knee up to 90 degrees, tap your heel, keep on going, okay? Same thing with dying bugs. If you get tired and you're not able to do it for very long, put your feet, heels down, rest your arms, take a couple deep breaths, come right back and do some more dying bugs. The more often and the more consistently that you do these, the longer and longer that you'll be able to do them, the better your core will protect your lower back so you can either prevent and or treat low back pain. It's one of the most common problems in, in America um, is low back pain, okay? So it's really important to do these exercises. Another contributing factor to the instability of the hips is your glutes. Very often they're weak and they don't fire properly. So one of the easiest ways to strengthen your glutes, place your heels flat on the floor, lift your hips towards the ceiling, squeeze your glutes and hold the bridge. Holding it is really good, okay, as long as you're actively squeezing those glutes. Another thing you can do if you want is some reps. Slowly control the descent, let your hips touch the floor. As soon as they touch, squeeze your glutes, lift back towards the ceiling. Okay, slowly descend, push it right back up. Poof. Remember to breathe. Your body, your muscles need oxygen. So breathing is very, very important. Okay. So. Hey, good morning, Pam. How are you? Come on in. It's good to see you. How are you feeling? I'm feeling good. That's really good to hear. I'm glad to hear it. Yeah. Did you have a nice Thanksgiving? I had a really nice Thanksgiving. I'm meeting with my, uh, I asked her to move the appointment up today because I have an appointment with one of my oncologists this morning. And we're always happy to do that for you. Uh, I appreciate it. Enjoy your session. Thank you. All right. So the next exercise that we're going to do is called a, a belly angel. And you're going to lay on your stomach. Put your elbows out at shoulder height, bent at 90 degrees. So you kind of going to look like a field goal post that's laying on the floor. With this exercise, this is going to help people that have head forward posture, that dowager's hump, or starting to form a hump in the upper back, and people that have rounded shoulders. These people have a lot of pressure and stress. They oftentimes spend a lot of time sitting, driving in front of a computer, on their devices, their laptops, their tablets, their phones. 
and they've got a lot of pressure on their neck, their skull, their shoulders, and sometimes a lot of these people will have headaches also, okay? So what you're going to do is you're just going to flex your upper back, squeeze, lift your chest, your head, and your arms away from the floor. Hold it for a few seconds, and then slowly come back down. Squeeze, and remember to breathe. Exhale as you exert the effort to come away from the floor. Belly angels. These three exercises, dying bugs or some version thereof, hip presses, and belly angels are the three exercises that I recommend that people do every single day to prevent the most common problems that they have in their lives with, with the body and feeling pain and discomfort, lack of range of motion and functionality. So combined with the stretches that we've done and these three exercises, you will put yourself in the best position to avoid the, that pain and discomfort, okay? So let's go ahead and have a seat. Sit up straight. Rest your hands on your knees. And let's do a little bit of deep breathing. Most of us uh, breathe very shallowly. And uh, it's really important to train your, your respiratory system to be able to work better than it currently is. So you breathe in through your nose and then breathe out through your mouth. And you want to push every ounce of air through your lips. Okay, so the more that you exhale, the more that you're able to inhale, the more oxygen that you'll get in your system. Okay, so ready? Let's go. All right, thank you for joining me this Wednesday morning. Please join me again on Friday. Like I said, please like and share um, this content so that other people that you know may be able to benefit from it as well. I hope you have a great Wednesday.